Hello there. In this video I'm going to show you how easy it is using uh, Fluid Designer, uh, which is a piece of free software which you can download from the internet, how easy it is to create your own uh, jewellery. So you can create bracelets for example, um, earrings, pendants uh, and rings. Very simple process using Fluid Designer. So I'll say you can download it free from the internet. Um, once you start it up it looks something like this. You won't actually have all of these objects here. They actually need to be purchased but the software itself is in fact free. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just how easy it is if you actually purchase any of these objects from us to create your own uh, pendants and bracelets etc. So I've just dra dragged and dropped an object onto the workspace and this object I'm going to turn it into a, a pendant and uh, one way that we can do that, if I uh, just view it from the top again, um, we can just uh, click on objects around it and uh, if I just move them into the centre of the workspace and uh, let me just choose a different object here, that might be a little bit too big, you just choose a smaller one and uh, just move that into the centre as well, uh, that one's a little bit too small, let me just zoom in a bit and uh, again I'll just move that into the centre there um, and uh, let's see, we could add, um, perhaps we could add something like this and just grab it there and we'll take another one from the other side. Symmetry is always quite important. Um, now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got something that joins all those objects up. Um, so I need to go across the middle here. Oh, that one's not very good, is it? just need to zoom in, I think that's what I need to do. Um, just grab that. Okay, that's not quite wide enough. Um, yeah, so I just want to make sure that I go and that's too wide. Okay, so one in the middle should do it. Yep, there we are. So I've just uh, dragged and dropped a number of objects into the center of this. So you can, you can see the outline of the pendant there, but I've got these new objects in the middle. Well, if I just go to view and top, if I just select each of these, and I'm just holding down the shift key here, and just clicking on them. If I just go to tools and if I just join them all into one, you can see that they're all one now because they've all turned yellow. And if I now just uh, click on the outline of this object, and again I'm still holding the shift key down there, and if I just join everything together now, you see what I get is a pendant. Now the design for that pendant can vary as you drag and drop different objects here into the center of the pendant. Now this particular pendant is uh, about 20 millimeters wide and we can see that in the uh, in the panel here so x value it's 21 millimeters so from the outside there to the outside here is 21 millimeters the y dimension is 26 because we've got this connector at the bottom and z is the the thickness of it. Now it is possible to change the uh, thickness so we could change this for example to 3 millimeters thick and you can see the thickness of the pendant changes or I could change it to one millimeter thick whoops need to see what I'm doing okay so you can see I can change the thickness of the pendant quite easily uh, and as, as well as this sort of uh, rectangular style I can actually change it to a, a circular uh, appearance as well okay so if I just go to uh, file and new again so the object that I dragged into the centre of the workspace there was um, a 20 millimetre pendant. We can do larger sizes, so I could have done it with a 30 millimetre pendant, and the same sort of principle applies. So you can just drag and drop these objects into the centre of the pendant and just join them all together, and whatever thickness is applied to the pendant will be applied to the new object. Now the beauty of this is that we can actually do a lot more than that. So for example if I uh, go back to pendants again here, I'm just going to zoom down and find an, an object. You can see there's lots and lots of objects here. All of these can be placed inside the pendant. So I'm going to choose this one here, this N curve, because it does look quite nice. Um, so that's my basic outline object. Um, but I don't want to put that in the pendant just as it stands. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the outline of it so I go back to what's called the curve. 
and I'm just going to save this now so I'm just going to go to file and save as and uh, I just want to go to my desktop and I'm just going to rename that as a curve this is just my convention you can choose your own convention if you like so I'm just going to save that to the desktop as a curve and if I just go to file and new again and uh, just go back to pendants and uh, I'm going to choose a slightly larger pendant this time so I'm going to choose the 30 millimeter pendant so there's my pendant now I could drag and drop these objects into the center of the pendant but instead of that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop and go to this one that I've just saved to the desktop and I'm going to uh, insert that object into my pendant now as you can see at the moment it's just a little bit too small but that's not a problem I can just scale it up until it just touches the pendant itself now when you do scale you do need to uh, apply the scale that's just a function you've got to do in this uh, software but with that object now if I now hold down the shift key and highlight the pendant on the outside and then if we just join them together again boom there we are we've got a pendant now with a different design in the center so I could have dragged it, it, any of these items into the center of my pendant to create uh, the design or alternatively as I've just shown you we can choose um, any of the designs that are already here and there are a couple of hundred um, here's a, a Bor Borromean pendant to, for style for example which is a little bit like the Olympic rings um, there's also Celtic knots so you, you know you can just uh, drag that object over to there all you need to do is to delete the outline of it and then save it to your desktop and then import it into the pendant but we're not restricted to just working with pendants here so for example if I go to bracelets we've got some objects here so I can create a, a bracelet with just a single design around it and again you can see my objects in the background I could drag and drop those into the object but I'm not going to do that I'm actually going to uh, uh, where are we if we go back to bracelets again um, I'm going to open up this one which oh no sorry that's that's only three but well, wrong one um, let me try I wanted to do the one with four okay so yeah here's the bracelet with uh, four designs around it um, now it's a good idea at this stage to actually reduce the number of um, designs around it so I'm just going to delete temporarily three uh, three of them so I'm just working with one object at the moment there so if we just view that from the front now um, I'm not going to drag and drop these ones into the pen into the bracelet sorry I'm going to work with the Enipa curve again so I'm just going to go to file and append uh, and it's still in the memory of my system so there's the Enipa curve that we just put in the pendant before now, as you can see it's not quite at the right angle at the moment so what I need to do is I need to rotate it okay and uh, what I need to do is I need to check the size of this see whether how it fits inside to this uh, new object yeah now that's not too bad it's it's probably going to be just slightly oversized but I'm not going to worry about that in this instance um, I do need to worry about the depth of it though so I'm just going to uh, view from the top and uh, I know from experience that I just need to line this up with those lines there so that it does in fact fit properly in my uh, bracelet here so if I now click on the outline of the bracelet and if I just join these together now you'll see that my design gets transformed into the uh, bracelet circle there and if I just increase this count value here I can complete my bracelet design um, and uh, there it is so I've got the same pattern in all four circles of my bracelet uh, and if I wanted to I could actually change the uh, cross section of this so I think at the moment it's one millimeter by two now I've got to scroll down quite a long way to do this um, but I could change it to one millimeter by three millimeters so you, as you can see that's just changed the the thickness of the bracelet so I can swap that um, I can all ha also have a rounded style bracelet again I've got to unfortunately scroll down to the bottom here but it doesn't take too long 
Um, so I could have a bracelet that's rounded, so a 2.5 millimeter diameter. So you can see that that's changing the the style, changing the outline of the bracelet. That's probably not quite as pretty as the original. Um, so I could just return it to the original. I think that looks better actually. Um, so those are ways of actually quickly creating bracelets. And again, any um, any style that we've got here. Any one of these designs can be copied, so we've used this one here, but any of these other styles can be uh, copied into the centre of the bracelet there. So, for example, we've got um, a Korean style pendant here. Okay, this is a special design of ours, um, which you can see if you look at our website. Um, so this particular pendant, if I decide to, um, first of all, remove all the outline of it, so you can see that that's the uh, object as a curve. If I just save that to the desktop, um, so if we go to save as, and uh, save it to the desktop, and I'm going to change the name here to curve, just to uh, confirm what it is that I'm doing. And uh, if I go to new again, so I'm going to go to uh, bracelets again. Um, I'll do one with just three sections this time, so as you can see, We've got three rings around our bracelet there. Uh, we can set that down to one just temporarily while we work on this. And uh, we can go to append. Now this time we need to go to the Korean object. And uh, append that one from the library. And uh, rotate it slightly so that it's uh, like that. Now it looks like to me as though this is probably going to be a little bit too big. So... Yeah, oh no, it's not too, well it is, yeah, it's slightly too big at the moment, so we do need to uh, need to scale it down very slightly, so if I just view it from the front and just zoom in, and if I just scale it down, we might have to play around a little bit more than that to get it to actually fit the object, but uh, if I click on the bracelet now, all I need to do is to join, oh no, I haven't lined it up properly, um, yeah, Okay, I just need to make one more adjustment to this. If I just view from the top, just need to move that curve up one, um, one millimeter, just so that it will fit correctly in the center of this object rather than offset from it. So if I just go to join now, you'll see that that object fits inside there. Now you can play around with the uh, uh, size of this until it fits neatly. Um, I've just done it fairly quickly there. But as you can see, we've only got one section of the bracelet at the moment, but we can change that, no problem, two and three. We can change the size of this again like we did before. We can change the cross section, so I could change it down to one millimeter thickness, for example. So you can see it's a thinner one probably not advisable to do that it's probably better to go up in size if anything because if you're going to 3d print this and produce it in silver um, you do need some strength of the object as well okay so this is a uh, fluid designer for 3d printing and uh, what we're showing you is how you can very quickly and easily use patterns to create um, bracelets uh, earrings as well can be created Oops, I just need to go to new um, so earrings, you can create earrings as well using the same sort of principle and again there's a whole host of patterns there which you can drag and drop into the earrings and the thing about earrings is you want to make them fairly thin compared to pendants and bracelets and um, you can also create rings as well in Fluid Designer so um, if we drag and drop this object onto the workspace for instance Okay, now that will actually print directly as it is, and at the moment the size of it is, uh, okay, I just need to open this up a little bit, it's one millimeter by five millimeters, so it's actually one millimeter thick and five millimeters high, and uh, you can change that, so we can give it greater height, or even greater height, or even very small height, one millimeter high, that's probably too small, too small to, to, uh, to, to work effectively as a ring. But as you can see here, we can change the dimensions of the ring. So there's all sorts of options that you can select there. 
and uh, in addition to that we can actually change the the dimension the inner dimensions of the ring um, so at the moment the default size on here for the ring it's over in this panel now we've got to work the default size the inner diameter of this is 15.09 millimeters so it's UK size H um, if we didn't want to do UK size H then what we do is we just hide that uh, uh, ring there and we select a different size so we're on UK size D now and uh, we just apply a size a thickness to this so we've now changed from um, UK size 8 15 millimeters to a size D 13.26 millimeters and again we can change the size of this ring uh, lots of options available and uh, you can just play around and produce any sort of ring size that you want um, but also in addition to that if you uh, select the second object that we've got here in the list um, in addition to having a ring this one's also got patterns around it and uh, you can change these patterns so if we press the tab key there um, you can modify this pattern so it's a good idea to just hide the ring for the moment and if I just zoom in and view it from the front, whoops, view it from the front, uh, just zoom out a little bit, whoops, and uh, deselect those points. Yeah, so I can modify the pattern. Okay, and uh, you know, you can play around with this forever, and instead of having three, you can have 23 if you really want to, and uh, you can then put the pattern back on the ring so I've just changed it slightly there you do need to obviously fine-tune it you can't do it as quickly as this um, but here you can see how you can add patterns to the ring and again as we did with the pendant all the patterns that we showed you here can be modified and dragged onto the uh, pendant oh, sorry onto the ring that I've just shown you there uh, and also onto bracelets. So I showed you a bracelet where we imported into the center of the bracelet but uh, there's nothing to stop you having a bracelet like this one here. As you can see it's got a similar pattern on it and you can uh, change that pattern and you can change the size of the bracelet very quickly and easily. Okay so I'll change the pattern. Uh, doesn't look very good like that obviously I've uh, got to set the pattern and the size of the pattern appropriately but that's not a problem you can just edit it okay so we can just uh, like we did with the ring there we can just edit the pattern so if I just view it from the front I can just go in and uh, change the pattern Okay, so I've just made it a little bit bigger. Probably not got it quite right. Seem to be off slightly. Maybe this one. Okay, again, I'm, I'm doing this a little bit too quickly. Uh, but as you can see, I can uh, resize the pattern to match the, uh, the bracelet itself. So that one is... Uh, what is it? It's 1 by 20. So if I just change that down to 15, it'll look a little bit better. Um, clearly, I just need to modify the position of the bracelet and center the pattern on the bracelet. And again, you know, we've got uh, just uh, five hearts there, but we can change the number of hearts. Um, so as you can see here, I'm increasing the number of hearts around it or decreasing whichever you want um, all again quickly and easily okay so that's um, fluid designer for 3d printing if you want uh, a copy of the software if you just go to our website at uh, fluiddesigner.co.uk you can go to our downloads page and you can uh, download um, the software completely free of charge um, if you want, however, the items that we've just shown you there, they're available. Uh, again, if you just look at our website, you can uh, see what the cost of those is. So you can buy individual items and uh, create your own rings, pendants, etc. Thank you.